Gen 5 attacks are some of the latest generation cyber attacks and they usually utilize more sophisticated attack technologies than previous generation. What characterizes them? In many cases, will will be large scale. Most cases will be multi-vector, which means that the attack can start from one place, let's say, wrong app on your mobile, downloaded file from the internet, but it won't attack that device. That device will be the entry point to get to the next point, to the next point on the internet, and the malicious workload might find itself only at the third, fourth, or fifth target within the organization. Um, Gen 5 attacks usually are very hard to detect. They use polymorphic technologies to change their behavior. So all technologies like, uh, like signature-based are not very effective to, to detect them and to prevent them. And we must use new ways of thinking to stop these attacks. A recent example of a Gen 5 attack was the solar wind sunburst attack. Uh, this was one of the most sophisticated attack and severe attacks we've ever seen. Uh, it got to over 18,000 of organization through a software that has all the permissions to go around the company. While most attacks start from the outside and go inside, this attack actually started inside from the SolarWind software and then went all over. And actually some of the assets that were most under attack were the more external assets on the cloud. So the attack went inside out and attackers will use all kinds of backdoor to get there and to find the asset that they need and the asset that will cause the most devastating damage to the organization. So yes, Gen 5 attacks are here. Cyber pandemic is around the corner and we must do everything we can to prevent that. <laughs>